Gymnast Gymnast with Mira Tarutova, the epitome of the Soviet domination in the 60s and early 70s. But in 1975, Romania's Nadia Comaneci changed the balance. So began a series of epic contests between the countries to reach the climax in the Seoul Olympics. Elena Shukinova, the Soviet champion, snatching the title from Daniela Silivash of Romania. In Brussels last year, Svetlana Boginskaya of the Soviet Union took the European crown by an even closer margin from Silivash. And now defends that title here in Athens, in the Stadium of Peace and Friendship. The gymnasts, though, assembled in an atmosphere of questioning. How will the new political attitudes in Eastern Europe, in Romania in particular, affect their world? Will there now be a better chance for the West to challenge the old order? Well, that is one of the fascinations of the 1990 European Championship. How much will this affect the British challenge? That's with the Britain, we start the 15-year-old Lorna Mannering from Wolverhampton, coached by Christine Still, the wife of the national coach goes on her vault. And it's a great Yachenko, it was her second piece of apparatus, she opened with 9.2 on the floor. Mitch Venner. And this is a vault she's only perfected over the last three weeks. First time she's used it in competition. Safely onto the board. Push from the horse. Good straight body shape. Excellent start to competition for Lorna Manor. Now, the first of the Romanian girls is Mirela Pascha. Interesting to see how the lack of regimented preparation will affect the Romanian team. So far, she's uh, very steady. Romanians haven't performed that well in international competition this year. But settling down nicely now. Safety through, after that experience. This man. Double pipe back, seven song, three touch back, but not too much damage done. Neat and tidy routine, especially for a girl without uh, too much of international pedigree. That flip is a two layer back, seven song. Very steady there, to a 9.8. Now, Louise Redding. That's very pretty. Back with Jeff. Uh, 8.925 on the bar. 
powerfully into that layered back somersault. Just a wobble to adjust. And a score here, 9.51. 0.512. On to the young Soviet girl, Groskova. Brings new meaning to the phrase fast twitch. She moves like lightning between those bars. All twisting double back. Fast and powerful, beautiful work. Question is, Mitch, does the speed hide faults or not? Well, you can see there there's a fault in that gear, but very quickly into that catch f like action. Sharp little one and a half twist to catch there. And that beautiful straddle somersault on the top bar. And uh, she started her challenge with 9.862. Now, Asuka on the floor. off the edge of the floor. Little skill. Now, she must recover. One and a half twisting back, two to a double twisting back. Complex stuff. Superb routine, well choreographed, and very well tumbled. What a pity about the foot out at the end of the first tumble run. There's the full twisting double back, and there's the foot out. And it cost her 9.675. She's got just lovely movement. This is Louise Redding we're looking at here third piece of apparatus to add to an 8.925 on an ambitious program on the bars, 9.512 on the beam. High double tuck back. Beautiful straddle jump there, pike straddle jump. Lucky not to win a medal in the Commonwealth Games. This apparatus. Double twisting back. Confident performance there from Louise Redding. Obviously enjoyed this bouncy floor, Mitch. Yes, and she, uh, she had to control how she went into a double back somersault. She normally goes in so quickly, but controlled it beautifully. Look at that magnificent pike straddle jump. Very expressive. Well, that's an indication of the height, and they have scored 9.525. Luxembourg gave her 9.65. Back to Groskova. Third piece of apparatus, 9.675 on the bars. She had a fall from the beam, so drop there, 9.362. 
And there's quite a contest between her and the Romanian girl. History is uh, carrying on. Fantastic start to that exercise. sensible to have chosen some Greek music. Exciting tumbling. Ball twisting, double back somersault to finish. Again, she's so quick, but she has rhythm, pace, and real style, particularly at the start. Super fast and super light. There's a double twist there before she wraps into that tuck back somersault. Fantastic difficulty. And the score, not surprising, 9.9. .9. Reading on the vault. Problems there in the Commonwealth Games, not now. Certainly not now. Handspring fight front somersault. Top draw stuff from Louise. Say so her problem in Auckland was she didn't show the right vault for the judges. Such a shame because she was worth a medal there. Hard onto the horse, heels well over her head. Wraps in tightly for that pike somersault and nails that landing. Well done, Louise. Now each girl allowed two volts, 9.775. It's the better score that they take forward. There is an option to change, but I don't think she will, do you? I don't think she will. I think she'll go for more height off the top of the horse this time. And she's perfectly capable of that. Been. Lifts high off the horse, but there's the jump. That was the penalty. More attack, more height, but slightly over rotated. Probably worth a better score, though. Yes, I'd say without question. Look at the push from the horse. Beautifully flighted. And just that jump at the end, but I think the judges will look at the flight and the height. And 9.8 is her vault score. Now here's a young lady who's been scoring consistently well. 9.6, 9.5, 9.8. So piece of apparatus, the asymmetric bars, Andrea Molnar of Hungary. Interesting long swing. Into a Del GF somersault. Good combination. Two long swings, a little bit loose body, but a full twisting double back to finish. Difficult stuff. Perhaps lacks, it certainly does lack the style of some of the better gymnasts, but uh, it's all in there, very difficult. 9-8, her score. Oh, we've seen her do so well on the floor. Roshkova, a second ball. Interesting, Yachenko. She certainly tied it up her first ball. And uh, that was a good effort. Look at the power on the runway. Huge thrust off the horse. Piked out slightly for the landing. But a powerful thrusting bolt all the same.
Well, that's the position, the end of the performances of the first two groups, and Mirela Praska of Romania is ahead of Tatiana Groshkova of the Soviet Union. So the Soviet Union cannot finish one, two, and three. Louise Redding, she'll look back on the bars with disappointment, maybe even with anger. She's uh, in seventh position, Lorna Mannering down in 19th. And so, to the top group. And here's the number one Romanian, Nicolita. She was a member of the squad at the Stuttgart World Championships in October of 89. Ironic that uh, on a full twist, just a spin on the beam, they come to grief, and then she follows it with something as risky as that. An aerial cartwheel beautifully executed. Concentration, so important now. cameraman's lens. She has something of the look of Silivash, but not yet her style. It's the look of Silivash and uh, the look of uh, a quite well-prepared team. We, we didn't expect quite this level. We heard they had problems, but they're certainly doing quite well here at this championship. Very low out of that double tuck back. And offline as well. 9.825. Romanian challenge continues. Now the Soviet girl, Natalia Kladinina, another 16-year-old. She was a reserve back in 89 at the Stuttgart World Championships. Won the America Cup this year. Was a doubt about her. She, uh, she had an injury, but in the end, was able to take her place. The Soviet team did expect but they might have to use Tatiana Lysenko. Instead, they've gone to a girl, Mitch, who's uh, been doing well recently. Yeah, she's uh, she had a lot of exposure in international competitions and shown very well indeed. Oh, and she's been having problems with that start. It's round off flick flack and she wobbled quite badly. But there's the revolver flick, the full twisting forward. standard now that isn't it it's getting more and more common and it's such a difficult skill to perfect happy to put the foot down there too i think yeah. hurried that spin just a little and a layout back somersault. So <laughs> interesting double back dismount. They're not so common. And she perfected it. surprise everybody. Henrietta Onodi, who uh, in the last European Championships finished in fifth place. She's the Hungarian number one, pretty neat and tidy 15-year-old. The 
immense difficulty of this routine that so impressed the judges, the last European. Look for the twists and for the somersaults. Forward one swing, Jaeger somersault. Bristling with difficulty. Interesting long swing into a double tuck back somersault dismount. Superb. Confirming the impression of last year. Score for Karenina 9.85 for that beam routine. Local favourite, Fofo Bavariatu of Greece. Comes from Thessaloniki, the north of the country. Been a gymnast since the age of six. Mostar <laughs> just a little bit on top of the horse. Full twist in Yachenko. She bent her arms. Uh, Quite significantly on that vault. Interesting to see whether the judges on Greek soil noticed that. I wouldn't think so. Let's have a close look. See the cartwheel onto the board, onto the horse, and there quite a bad bend of the arms. Full twist, not really in a straight position either. That's the score for Anodi, 9.95, and Bavariatu, 9.9, .9, which seems some duty generous. Surprising, to say the least. Our first look at the defending champion. Here's Svetlana Boginskaya. Andrea Brislin. She seems to have lost absolutely nothing. Except a little weight, perhaps, Barry. combination of acrobatic and gymnastic type movements so graceful so elegant in control and composure And uh, apologies for the picture breakup. I understand you had in the middle of that, but uh, Svetlana Boginskaya 9.962 puts her ahead of Anodi with Christina Bontash, the uh, leading Romanian. I gave that title to her compatriot 9.925 in third place after one piece of apparatus. So, look at the uh, West German girl. Of course, I beg your pardon, the East German girl, I should say. We won't have to worry about that in the uh, near future. Lay out somersault mount onto the beam. Off centre then, wasn't she? And again, very slightly. and shoulders not quite square at the end of that acrobatic series.
backflip, the layout back somersault. Mixture of acrobatics there with uh, gymnastic and split leap. And now the dismount. Double twisting back somersault, slightly offline. Yeah, she really rather well, she really rather struggled her way through that. And we're gonna have a look at one of the Italian competitors. Roberta Kirchmeyer. She must have been a little German in her background somewhere. She was uh, 31st in uh, Brussels in the European Championship of 89. Normally there every two years the European Championship, but this year the uh, routine has been changed. through that. Oh, Fernandez. Surely you won't need telling that she's from Spain. You won't now. That's the flag is there. The asymmetric bars. 11th last time. Coached by the same coach as uh, Eva Rueda. Spanish competitor. Tiny girl. Moves easily between the two bars. Has to use both bars, of course. That's a ginger somersault. Must include that sort of release. Oh, look at the power there. Double straight back somersault to finish. She really went for that. Yes, all in a day's work. This mouth, in particular, was excellent. Yes, she really did go for it. She uh, power around the bar and um, excellent double straight somersault to complete that routine. That's the Ginga somersault release. Up start for the top bar. Half turn, lost leg form a little then, and the judges will have seen that. And this is his powerful wind-up, whips the legs under her into a double straight back somersault. Look at the height above the bar. Impressive. Well, will the Hungarian challenge continue after the excellent start that uh, Henrietta Onodi made on the asymmetric bars, 9.95. Now she comes to the beam start is every bit as good as her performance on the bars. Look at that. She has something of the coquettish charm of days gone by. Won't need telling me, me telling you who I'm thinking about. If you do, you haven't been watching much gymnastics. Olga Corbett, of course. One tiny wobble so far. An adjustment there, to keep the shoulder square. Two layer back somersaults. A 
mackerel to handstand in splits and stays up there for an age. Took the spin just a little further than she needed. The ease with which she beat the handstand there belies the strength of this girl. Triple twist. Didn't quite make it. Got lost slightly on the last of those three twists, but uh, very difficult, very complex. No doubt. If you look at the score for Fernandez, there's 9.875 for the asymmetric bars. No doubt that the uh, Hungarian challenge is continuing. And the Romanians and the Soviets have to be well aware of little Onodi. 9.912, her score has just come up. So that's an improvement on her bars performance. <laughs> but a bit of rock and roll in the middle. Interesting competitor, both Romania and the Soviet mm -hmm. Union seem to keep finding them. There's a full fishing mm -hmm. double back, immediately into a flick, and there's a hurdle jump, and it continues. Beautifully mm -hmm. high, floats in that layout somersault. Oh, a look at Sarah Mercer of Great Britain. Trained at the Leatherhead Gym Club, coached now by Vladimir. Enough. Great hopes for Sarah. Did well to control that. particularly in the light of the fact that on the beam she struggled and only uh, scored 8.7. This, I think, is the error. 
Pino con el cero pie. Overcooked it just a little, and you see at least four paces there, but uh, struggled with it and controlled it in the air. This is the sort of power the Sturpins generate on floor. Must be double touch out. Borrow from Shushanova. I leap into front drop. And that's the routine. Nine seconds. Two feet to the back of the race four of 80.4. Nine seconds. Now on four, the defending champion. Soviet girl, Tadinino, incidentally scored 9.925 on the floor. She is, and the five feet seem to be all yeah, that. Lovely yeah. performance against the yeah. yeah. sky. Yeah. Uh, long legs, of course, help her because they provide oh, considerable oh, leverage. Oh, and oh, look at the style and grace oh, that they lend to her performance. Nine point nine three seven was Bogginskaya's score on the floor, and not surprisingly, she still leads. But Onodi in second place, and it's pretty tight. Christina Bontash, and the Greek director hasn't showed us yet, is in third place at nineteen point eight one two. So two rotations down. Let's move on to rotation number three. Although the gymnast marching round that so many people enjoy, myself included, was denied us in the European Championship. Back to the East German girl, Vila. Just a bit. It didn't quite get there. It's just difficult to kill that one. Assembly. The 
it's uh, not mm. quite the days of the um, yeah. East Germans of just a few years ago. Uh, Nathalita? Or her vault? Christian mm. Yatenko. Mm. Um, and that is the vault. It seems to be the vault of the day, once again, as last year. The 89 Europeans. Pushes, twists, and just an adjustment. And apparently with eyes closed. Fieldgrass is the score. Barbell Fieldgrass, 9.775. He achieved on the floor. Difficult for these Germans with their leading gymnasts having left the country as competing is concerned. This is Heck on the bars. Carmen Heck of Switzerland. And that was Carmen Heck of Switzerland off the bars. The gymnast feels it's not right. There's only one thing to do. And that's drop off. Terrible feeling. It covers that into a double straight or was it double fight? And probably a double fight cover so. feeling that she needs to vary the pace just a little. Not enough in rhythm. Bulgarian girls, Nakrodieva, on the beach. She's the national champion at 15. Oh, and she looked in trouble from the very first girl there. Bent the trailing leg very badly and it pulled away off the beach. So important to keep your hips and your shoulders square. difficult for these girls to uh, recapture their concentration after such a fall. Double touch, a face back, 
too much damage done to the rest of that routine. And that's the score for Yantikova, 9.712. Quite generous, really. Mm -hmm. performance on the floor. And I think you might see uh, a marked difference in style from the next lady to go on the floor. It's uh, going to be Henrietta Ronodi. She's uh, European Championships, incidentally, taking place in the... Uh, new indoor stadium that the Greeks hope will be used for the centenary Olympic Games in 1996. And here's little Anodi being brought out for her third piece of apparatus, lying in second place with a total of 19.862. And confirming everything we so thought about her 12 months ago. So far, so good. And uh, if anyone's going to break the Soviet Romanian domination, it's this little lassie. But don't blink in this routine, Barry, because you won't see a lot if you do. It's so fast. scored by Boginskaya. We'll wait for her mark as we move to Pavariatu. Greek champion moving to the beach. We're doing so with a uh, suitable panache. This girl has been in gymnastics since she was six years old. And affectionately as Fofo. Make the stage in front of the home crowd. Uh, well, he scored 9.912 for that score routine, so uh, he's losing ground on Boginskaya. Uh, 
first look at uh, Christina Bontash of Romania. And so she had uh, quite a battle with Oleska Dudnik of the Soviet Union in the early stages of the European Championship 12 months ago. Just then that she was uh, a young lady for the future. Not singing quite as freely as she did a year ago, but uh, all the skills are there. <coughs> she landed that. <coughs> Obviously worked very hard to get her form back. Uh, she lost it during the political upheaval and just afterwards. There's a catch here. Into the arch just a little bit early and suffered from a loss of rotation. But safely change to the lower bar. Not quite as sharp in all these upstart movements as she has been. Savariatu's uh, score, 9.7 for the beam. And with a good chance of improving on her placing in Brussels. 20th. Here's the leader and uh, the odds are shortening on her retaining her title. Her piece of apparatus is the ball. And you can see just to her left the number flashed on the board. They have to indicate what vault they're doing on that. Well, that scored above the horse, all just in your take down. And that's where her long legs once again make her look so elegant in flight. Drive hard in this round off onto the board. Stretch and push. Miles above the horse. Floats to the ground and holds shape all the way around. And the crowd holding its breath. And applause. We've got a 10 for Bobby Shire. Flick of the eyelid. Ten across the board from the six judges. Small wonder, really, Barry. She, uh, she was yards above that horse. And with a vault now that's become commonplace, needs someone like this to take into a different sphere. Once again, same height. Didn't quite have the rotation. And had to stagger forward to the side of the landing. But no matter. She's got the ten. Lovely position to be in. Shushanova had that situation. And got the 10 that was the Olympic title with her first ball. I think it didn't matter very much. It's difficult to see how she could have improved. But look at this push. And this is what puts this ball into a different class. She didn't bend her arms at all. It's just high above the horse. But there you see, she didn't quite rotate. but confirming her position at the head of affairs and she gets another 10 two tens a little surprising perhaps oh well, i have to say there's just no way that could have been worth 10. i mean you can see the two volts but no question that uh, she deserves to be in front she's increased her lead over anodi and kalinina of the soviet union has moved into third place ahead of christina bontash who was a little disappointing with her last routine so, three rotations completed. Can anybody catch Boggin Sky? It does look unlikely. Certainly this girl won't, though she's had a good series for Ada of Spain. Bar's a very strong piece for Ada of Ada. High catch it. Nicely into that handstand. This is a powerful young lady. Big wind up, double space back to the top. 
seems to be the province of the Spanish. He showed us that in the last European Championship. And on that occasion, she came seventh overall. Powerful wind-up. She uses that hollow shape to create more momentum. She lifts the feet. Close to the bar, though, wasn't it? Delighted. And we haven't seen her score, but I can tell you it was 9.875. And here's a score for Boucher, the French girl on the beam, 9.812. That is Boucher. Consistent, but not a threat. Once again, Soviet Romanian competition, although I think as we expect it makes the Soviets now looking the stronger, indeed the greater threat coming from Anodi of Hungary. Yes, I would agree with that. I think the Romanians have got a lot of work to do now to, uh, to get back to where they were just a couple of years ago. And one score I don't think I gave you is 9.887 for Bontas on the bar. chance to look at the other Hungarian competitor in this final group, Mr. Ogori from Budapest. This is a member of the Monday Club. She's 17 years old, two years older than her is allowed two volts. No such problem that time. Ball twisting the Chenko, and it does show a measure of her maturity. Her compatriot scored 9.712 on that floor routine we were just watching. Checked the hurdle step that time, no problem. There's the full twist. Once again, it's the full twist in the Chenko. And did well to regain her composure after that run through. And this is Jantikova's score for the beam. 9.712, I said her compatriot Anodi. That's, of course, Esther Overy. Back to Anodi's second vault, having scored 9.85 on the first. The 
she lifted that one rather better then off the horse. Obviously more confident. That's bound to drop back in terms of her challenge for Vogan Shire, who scored 210. Tough act to follow, wasn't it? Impossible, I would say. I have thought. Well, it was impossible. And she'd need 11, wouldn't she? First up, we have there briefly at Karenina, and here's the score for Onodi, 9.862. She's been impressive, uh, Karenina. She's happy with the bars, or is she? She wants a bit more chalk for her hands. And as she comes for these bars, she needs 9.9 .9 if she's to move from third into second place ahead of the Hungarian girl, Anadi. And we were just watching on the vault. So the uh, competition coming once again to an interesting climax. No doubt, I think, about the winner, but uh, considerable doubt about the minor placing. Yes, uh, this girl is capable of uh, producing something really special, but it has to be. had a good year, second in the uh, Chimichi Cup, and of course she actually won this year's America Cup. Good body line. All twist in that long thing. Oh, miles high in that Delta somersault. Now this could be interesting. All twisting double back, it's a pace back. And it wasn't good enough. Here's the great champion on the floor. It's not been up on the floor yet, but uh, it's been up on the, uh, on the monitors. And if it's confirmed, she will move into second place. And in fact, in the lead at the moment, because Bogging Sky still has one piece of apparatus to go. So there's this young lady, Christina Bontash, on the beam. And she needs a 
very good score. 9.938 if she's to make a breakthrough into the medal position. back up and on. I have to admire that. They have to be, of course. Uh, they've only got 10 seconds to get back up. And uh, hardly time to regain your composure. the damage was done. Mm -hmm. Barry, after you score on the floor, 9.875, the judges like to as well as the crowd. And here at last is Caninina's score, and it's confirmed at 9.9, .9, so she at the moment is in the lead likely to finish in second place behind her compatriot, the defending champion Svetlana Boginskaya. She's impressed. Here is Boginskaya. And uh, frankly, she would have to have a disaster here not to retain her title. But for the record, she needs 9.739. I'm sure she's going to go. What is the certain is that uh, she's not going to be hurried by anybody. Mm -hmm. Sky, champion in 1989. Champion of the world in 1989 in the championships in Stuttgart. One medalist in so in 88. And here she goes. Good combination. Again, those long, graceful body lines. So on, so off. The handstand. Double pipe back, double pipe back. Just cut down the difficulty just a little on that dismount to make sure. Exuberance of youth, perhaps affected slightly by her uh, newfound status, you found in 1989, that is. It was a fabulous year for her, and uh, 1990 looks to be going the same way. Look at that toe point. This was the combination that was so impressive, a focusing long thing, immediately now into the giant relief, which is a catcher. Good half turn now, change to the low bar. She has to include at least two of those in the routine of this quality. Eight to handstand. Just a little short there on that half turn. But well on the way now. Well on the way to the uh, score she needs. Look at the split, look at the amplitude in that split. Toe onto the bar. Easily to handstand. And this into the simplified, if you can use such a word, dismount. Can't be any doubt, surely, in the judge's mind that, uh, that she's won. But they seem to be a little reluctant 
to give us a score. Floors going around the uh, stadium. 9.975, so comfortably enough. And indeed, three of the judges gave uh, 10 for that. And I think there was very little doubt Boggin Skyer was going to retain her trifle, 39.874. Natalia Kalinina moving into second place, 39.637 with the Hungarian challenge, fading a little bit at the end, but Anodi is third. And there are the positions of the British girls, Louise Redding going ahead of Sarah Mercer. So, Boginskaya is the all-around champion once again, and claims her gold medal. And it's interesting to see how many she can add to that in the apparatus finals, which we cover tomorrow. I hope you'll join us in Sunday then. but right now we're heading to Athens, the uh, Women's European Gymnastics Championships. Uh, yesterday, the overall competition, 